when the first calls came in uh, uh, July of 1942 to report for labor, I think it was July the 5th, uh, the call went out to 7,000 people ages 15 to 45, and they were, as far as I remember, all refugees. The Germans were very clever. They knew that the refugees did not have a support system. We were newcomers. We didn't have, you know, friends and relatives all over the country. So we, we were much more vulnerable. So let's get rid of those people first, and then we can see about the rest. So uh, Margot got a call, and my older sister got a call, and several of my classmates got a call. I re see us still uh, standing, uh, at that time we still had bicycles, at the street corner. I know exactly the street corner. and. Uh, one uh, young man uh, who was in my class said, I got a call and my mother wants to hide me. I'll be done if I live in a closet. I'm strong, I can do work, I go, period. And there was another uh, girl in this case who was really crying, said, I wish my mother would want to hide me, but they don't. They don't want to even hear of it because they're afraid that if I go into hiding and, and don't show up, then the rest of the family, grandma, the baby, everybody will be implicated and endangered. And this happened, you know, at, uh, in the, just before I turned 15. You can see the agonies. It was awful. It was really awful.